It is the most affordable form of flight in the world today. That's what I find. And I'm really excited to test out this new Dudek product. The Dudek Boson. Heading for the West Bench below 4,000. Perfect. All right, guys, here we go. First time launching a new wing. See what we can do. Okay, guys, here we go. Crosswind launch from my left, viewer's right. You can see the wing kind of gets collapsed a bit. Easy enough to chase this thing, guys. It is just a sweetheart to chase. Um, I launch in all kinds of conditions. Uh, living in the mountains, you sometimes don't get your choice of a big field into wind. So you take what you can get. And I've done a whole lot of crosswind launching. Um, I don't mind it. I feel like I've got my game down pretty good with crosswind launches. And this wing uh, has shorter lines than the Nucleon that I was flying. And because of that, the wing comes up nice and fast. And I didn't have any trouble getting under the wing. As you can see, the climb out was pretty darn quick. I found it to be uh, definitely have more glide than my Nucleon by quite a bit. And turning, well, check it out. This thing turns on a dime like they say it would. And uh, I really feel like it's, uh, it's going to be a step up from the Nucleon, no doubt about it, guys. This thing, it, it's a little performer, that's for sure. Time will tell. Um where the adventures go with me on this wing but suffice it to say i'm going to use it in all aspects of its usability so the speed system on this thing i recorded 71 plus kilometers an hour trimmed out and the maneuverability of it i'm going to really love i'm sure of that like the river runs um, burning through fields stuff like that and playing around it's going to be a lot of fun i can tell i'm going to need to take a little bit of time and i'm going to do it slowly and progressively and just get to know the parameters of this wing but from what i found so far guys i really like it now i think this is where we crossed over to head over towards the blaberry a little bit and there was some late day thermals booting off. You can see me moving around a little bit. Um, it's definitely slightly more playful than the Nucleon. Um, and you know, I'm, I wasn't nervous, but it felt different for sure. So that's just going to be a matter of just getting used to it a little bit. Um, it definitely is a wing that you want to, there goes Troy that you want to fly actively. I don't think you want to be a passive pilot necessarily and fly the boson. But from what I honestly, from what I felt so far, uh, super stable. So now we've flown over to Mount 7 and it's time to let the trimmers out and see what this wing will do. Um, I wasn't apprehensive to let them out at all. I mean, I've been flying a reflex wing for a few years now, so... I just knew to let them out symmetrically and let her buck, guys, and see how fast this thing will go. So the one thing you will notice is how high I'm having to reach in order to trim this wing out. Uh, is it doable? Yeah, it's doable from there, but I prefer not to have to reach that high. Anyone that's been flying for a while knows sometimes there can be little tangle or mess ups or something with the risers that you might want to be able to deal with and or do big ears or a bee stall or whatever. I doubt I'll do big ears on it. I'll probably do big ears on it at some point if I get things sorted. Um, but my plan for right now is I think what I'm going to do is raise my seat. Now, I think to start with, I'm just going to add a cushion to it that I'll have fastened on there. And I want it to put me up about another two and a half to three inches. This should put me in the range of being able to reach uh, everything that I want to reach on the risers. Can I do it where it is? Yes. Is it comfortable? No. 
And that comes also in um, normal paraglider mode where I'm steering with just brakes or just tips or both. Uh, when you're steering with just brakes, I find it slightly awkward, the angle that I have to put my arms out at. But raising the seat up, is going to make that absolutely perfect and it's not that much like i say two and a half to three inches so now we're on speed and as you can see it's not rough there's just some little bubbles around but i'm comfortable with it right out of the gate the speed i clocked on my gps was just over 71 kilometers an hour and i don't believe we had too much wind because it was about the same going both directions uh, down the valley south, which is the direction we're going now, and going to the north. And another thing too, guys, on these risers, um, Dudek has went right out of their way to make everything seamless on these. So the tip steering magnets, they are color coordinated. And then there's magnets for the webbing for the speed system for the trimmers. So when you have the trimmers pulled all the way in, there's two magnets that those sit on, there's two magnets for the brake toggles, and there's two magnets for the tip steering. Dudek has really done a good job of this. They're all color coordinated, even though I messed it up once or twice. Um, but once you're used to it, it's pretty seamless and they work really well. Super strong magnets. I loved it. Um, as I learn more and more about this thing, it's just going to get more and more comfortable and more and more fun to fly. But the way it used to work, like on my Nucleon, for example, when you were trimmed in, you had those big pieces of webbing blowing in the wind. Well, now those, as you can see, tuck up out of the way and they go onto a magnet and it just keeps them from flopping around. I really love that little touch they put into it. Really, really made it super nice. Um, I like it. So now we're just going to fly around a little while longer, guys, and then we'll bring this thing into land. Well guys, that was fun. It's about what I expected. Um, as I fly it more, I'll venture into the, the thermals a little more. I definitely, when I was over to the north, had a little bit of thermal action. So anyway, yeah, over by Mount 7, I had some bumps. And I was not trimmed out, I was on paraglider mode. And then when I put it in full speed, full trim, heading that way, I had a few bumps and it felt really good. It didn't wake me out at all and it shouldn't because in full speed, this thing's just solid. And there's Alpine Helicopter making its way to the hangar.
All right, guys, first flight down on the Boson. Really enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll have to update you guys more once I get some more time on it. But successful first flight in the books. Woo! See you guys in the next video. Yeah. Absolutely fine. Lifted off fast once it was above me. That was so much fun talking to that guy from... Oh, I, like, yeah. I like the name Acorn One. Is that what it is? <laughs> Acorn One. <laughs> right on. Yeah. Anyway, my fingers are frozen. That was a good um, hour and 15.